Hope is very important partner of faith. What you will get tomorrow begins with what you hope for today. Hope is confident expectation that something desired will of a certainty come through or happen. What is hope? I said it is confident expectation that something desired will of a certainty come through. In Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1, it said, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Shall we read that scripture together? One to go. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The substance of things. What things? The things you hope for. What do we hope for? We hope for the things that God has given us. Do you get it clear? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. What are things we need to hope for? The things God has given to us freely. Say here. In 2 Peter chapter 1, 3 and 4, he said, 2 Peter 1, according at his divine power, as his divine power, had given unto us, how many things? All things that pertain unto life, and God, he has given us, there's nothing that pertains to this life God has not given you, he has given us. Is that true, sir? Glory to God. Through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this he might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through laws. He said he had given unto us everything. How many things? All things that pertain to life and what? So if he has given me all things, then my hope should be that there's nothing God has given me that I should not have. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So I look at my future with the hope. And say, Lord, there's nothing you have not given me. What faith does is to bring that to which you hope into reality. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Now, many times, many just have faith, but they don't have hope. To have faith and not have hope is like a man trying to have a child without a woman. You know why? The man has the seed. He has what? Of the child. But can never, no matter how strong and powerful he is, he can never have a child without a woman. True? No matter your faith, if you don't have hope, you can't get what you're looking for. Say so here. The man is faith. The hope is the woman. It's the woman that makes him know that, look, I'll have a child. If you take away the woman from him, the seed he has is of no use. Yes, I have faith, but I must see what I want in God's word. And say, I hope that this will come to pass. Then my faith will make it a reality. But if I have no hope, I'm playing football without goalpost. Are you getting high seed now? Glory to God. So here. Hope prepares the way for faith. It is the breeding ground for faith. Hope. To be hopeless is to be helpless. Only the hopeful has the future. You understand him well? Hope is necessary. Hope is what? When a man is hopeless, he becomes helpless. God cannot do it for you if you have no hope. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, since faith is a substance of things, what? Hopeful. Then there must be some hope. Or there wouldn't be anything for faith to give substance to. So I will never give up on hope. Say it one more time. Without hope, faith is impotent. Faith rise on hope to generate results. Where hope stops, that's where faith will end. In Job chapter 14, 7 to 9, I'm going to explain that scripture. Job 14, 7 to 9. For there is hope of a tree. So I have hope. I said there's hope of a tree. Now, 
When you look at the tree, you think that the tree is talking about you. The Bible is talking about who? The Bible refers to you and I in Isaiah 61 verse 3 as the trees of righteousness. So God is saying that when you see the Bible says something, don't just read from the surface. There's hope of a tree. It's not talking about a tree that is with plants. There's hope of you because we are the trees of what? As, look at it now. He said, they appointed them that morning Zion to give unto the beautiful ashes, the oil of God for blood, blood, that they might be called trees of what? So the Bible refers to us as what? He said, I see men as trees. Have you heard? So the Bible refers to you and as what? Trees. So, he said, there's still hope in case you came down. So there's still hope. So there's hope. So for there's hope of it, if it be caught down, that means in case you went, God, you fell. Say with me, there's hope. So there's hope. You see, in case you crash in life, that is hope. That it will sprout again means it will bounce back again. And I see someone bounce back again. Yeah. In case you came down, there is what? Hope. You see, in case you crash, life look upside down. There is what? Hope. You say, I will bounce back again. Say it like a child of God. That is said, make sure you have hope that your life has not ended. Say so here. He said, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth. You know the meaning? And the stock die in the ground. You know the meaning? He said, though life, it looks as if that case is hopeless. Naturally. It looks as if it has been an age long case. Your grandfather had it. Your great grandfather had it. Your father had it. Night is coming to you. You look at life and say, what? This thing has been lingering in our family for years. He said, there is. You look at your life. It looks as if that case is what? Closed. He said, there is what? He said, through the scent of water. You know the meaning? Through the word of God. Ephesians 5.26. He said, through the word of God. As long as there is word of God. It will bud and bring for bud like a plant. He said, as long as you are having the word of God, I'm reading verse 9. As long as you have the word of God, as I'm speaking now, you will bounce back again. I, de I decree whatever looks dead in your life will bounce back again in the name of Jesus. He said, even if it didn't look what? Don't give up. So I refuse to give up. 